Hello friends, welcome to Civil 3D Tips and Tricks channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can use masking connected alignment tool and offset alignment tool for creating junction layouts without exporting the Civil 3D into AutoCAD. So in today's video, I am having three examples for you. In first example, uh, I am having one road of 7 meter carriageway. The other road is also having 7 meter carriageway and uh, at junction location, I need a curb radius of 12 meter on both the turnings. In the second example, I am having two major roads intersecting. Uh, both are having 7.5 meter carriageway width on both the lanes. And uh, at junction location, I want to prepare traffic islands with uh, 5.5 intermediate lanes on this minor approach. And in the last example, we will see how we can provide median openings in the major road carriageway at certain intervals. So let me start the video with the first example. So you can see uh, this is my major road and this is my minor road. And here there is an intersection and I want to create a turning radius of 12 meter. So how can I do that? So first thing I have to do is I have to create an offset at the as per the cross sections of this roads so i will go to alignment and i will go to the create offset alignment i will select the major road so i want uh, offsets on both the sides so i will keep this one the width is 3.5 meter on both the sides uh, currently i will keep offset style for the carriageway edges and i don't want any labels and currently I am not putting any criteria for widening or for offset profile. If I want to create offset profile with a certain cross pull, I can create using this tool. But currently I am only doing horizontal. So I will not use the vertical options. Similar way I will create offsets for the minor road. So the criteria widths are same and style sets is also same. So my offsets are created now the next thing is i have to create this turning radius so for that i will use connected alignment option so and i have to choose two strings which i want to connect dynamically and i have to specify the site where i want this turning radius so yes this is correct i will accept this solution this will generate one window so this is connected alignment these are the two strings which i am connecting uh, I can specify the radius and I can specify the overlaps so for this example let I will start with the 15 meter radius and for this I will give the style as offset only first I will give curve radius style so you can easily identify so this is 10 meter overlap and this is a radius of 15 meter so if I see in this one I need a 12 meter radius uh, so what I can do is I can go to the alignment properties and I can manually change it to 12 meter so it will automatically update it and if in any case if your offset alignment changes in future like from 3.5 it become 4 meter so this radius will update with that offset alignment there will be no change in the radius so these three alignments are dynamically dynamically linked to each other so if any changes are there this will out, out, update automatically so similar way i will create offset alignment for the other side just a second go to create offset create connected alignment select the first select the second alignment specify the side accept the solution and i will give a 15 meter radius and so 12 meter radius and I need overlap of 10 meter so this is now created now if you see here I uh, there is a same style for the entire age line so I will change style for this alignment to offset so it looks similar to this one Now the next thing I have to do is, you can see there are some extra lines which I have to trim to match this layout. So for that I will use the masking option. So I will go to this alignment. There is a third tab for masking. 
so you can see this is end chainage and from this chainage to this chainage I don't want my alignment so I will choose end point I will start specify and for end station I will randomly click somewhere here because uh, when this command ends you can see this option lock to start and lock to end so for the end chainage I will use this option lock to end so it will automatically take up to end so on this side my trimming has been done similar way I can do trimming on this side so I will choose end point and on this side I will randomly pick the chainage and then I will select lock to end so you can see uh, it is almost done so the only thing remaining is trimming for this major road so I will again go to alignment properties now for this one I don't want end uh, from the start station or end station so I will select both the end points and I will click ok so you can see uh, the, this is almost similar to this one and if I want any specific line types for the age line I can specify uh, in the alignment styles so if I want any modifications in style so I can do it using this win I can specify particular color I can specify particular line types anything so this is the first example now in the second example you can see uh, there are traffic islands here and the roads are 7.5 meter carriageway with on both sides so let me first do the offsetting so I will go to the offset alignment so the first line I will create at 3.5 meter and for that I will give lane lines and after that I can do at 7.5 meter and I can give this offset lines so you can see when I can provide lane markings here with the use of this alignment offset so for now I will not show this line I can do that at last now I will do the offsetting for the other side so I will select the alignment the parameters are same now the next thing is I will use connected alignment I will specify the radius to 30 meter now for this I will keep offset style only and for this side I will create another connected alignment of 30 meter now if you see this one uh, whatever string you will select first your zero change will be on this side so I have selected this string first so that's why the zero starts from here if you select the string first this one then your zero change will start from this side so now what I will do is I will change the style to offset only now the next thing I have to do is the masking for this one so I will go to the alignment properties masking I will select the end point and I will select some randomly point lock to an end so on this side it is done now for on this side I will choose the end point and I will choose another point now this is done now if you see this one on this side there is a constant offset of 7.5 so for now I will not do any trimming on this alignment now for creating island I need two more strings so one is 5.5 meter offset from this side and another is 5.5 from this side so what I will do is I will create two offsets of 5.5 meter on both sides from this alignment and I will create offset from this alignment so this time I need only on right hand side so I will put on the left hand side 0 and similar way for this alignment 
I need only right hand side. So this is my island. So for the remaining portion, I have to use the trim command. So for in the civil 3D, we are doing that with the masking command. So what I will do is I will start with this one. Now uh, my start station, if you see, you can even see the changes. So the, my alignment will start from zero change. So I will keep some random change here and it will end here. Now I will lock to start. So you can see on this side the lines are trim. I need one more masking for this one. So I will select another masking. I will take this and I will for the second point I will choose some random points and lock to end end. So this side it is done. Now for this one for this one also there will be two masking so it is starting from, uh, zero is on this side so first point i am selecting randomly for the second point i am choosing this intersection and i will lock it to the start so for the first time it will take some time but uh, once it is done your targets and everything is linked to this one so this is the last exercise you have to do after creating a profile and everything so this will not take much time so after this it is a dynamic one now for the similar to this side i will create masking so my zero is on this side so this is done and then on this side I will choose lock to end and apply it is gone now the next is this one so my start station will be random the end station will be the intersection point here lock to start and on this side I have to do little trimming as well apply ok now on this side the trimming has been done now for this side I have to choose two trimming so the first one will start from this end point to this end point Uh, just a second yeah so the first point will be this end point and the second point will be this intersection point now the second one will be from this end point to this end point and now third will be from this end point to this end point if I click OK now your junction is ready now this lines are dynamic so if any change in the offsets so you have to just change the changes of the stations and your all targets and everything will remain same so this way you can create this type of junction and there is no need to do export for creating traffic islands now the next one is suppose you want to do any median opening or central reserve opening so let's say i need 20 meter opening uh, in my major road corridor so how can I do that so for 20 meter so what I will do is first I will select change my labels at 20 meter interval so I can easily identify so suppose I want a median opening here so what I will do is first I will check what is the median width here 
so it is one meter median on both sides so i will create an offset alignment of one meter on both the sides uh, i missed the other side so This is one, and now this time this will be zero. Yeah, and after this, I am having suppose let's say 7.5 meter carriageway, so I will give 8.5 meter offsets on both the sides. So, this is my corridor. Now, I want a opening from 1000 to 1020. So what I will do is, I will simply go to this alignment. I will give changes from uh, command bar. So 1000 to 1020. You can see uh, my median is not visible in this portion. And the other side I will do the same thing. Um, for presentation purpose, I have to simply do this, uh, this, this type of thing. If I will trim this side, right? yeah. your central reserve and median opening is ready so this way you can do it for the presentation purpose now if you run every time corridors for this type of junctions then it will take so much time so you can use connected alignments and uh, offset alignments to show this type of junctions and this will save a lot of time for you so thank you for this watching this video and uh, next time i will come up with some new videos tricks and tips for that please subscribe to our channel thank you